An alarming rise in auto thefts continues to plague the city. Just a short time ago, Toronto police providing an update on two investigations. Shauna Hunt joins us live now with the latest on the investigations dubbed Paranoid and Project Spectre. What can you tell us, Shauna? Yeah, so Melissa, this all began as a drugs and guns uh, trafficking investigation, and that led to the recovery of six firearms, along with 200 grams of cocaine. Uh, that investigation then segued to Project Paranoid, and that focus was on uh, the shipping, uh, trafficking, and revinning of stolen vehicles. So I want to show you uh, these cars that are on display here at the Toronto Police College in Etobicoke. Uh, these are stolen vehicles, and uh, these were actually purchased by undercover officers. Officers. In total, 48 stolen vehicles have been recovered. 20 of them were intercepted in Toronto and Montreal with the assistance of the Canadian Border Services. And this comes as police are continuously looking for ways to crack down on these auto thefts. Let's say you're legitimate. You're a legitimate consumer. You're a legitimate citizen of Ontario, of Canada, of Toronto. You lose your key fob and you have to go into the dealership to get it reprogrammed. I would suggest instead of maybe making it a 12 minute process, let's make it a two hour process. And I can tell you, we have had success with, we have had success with that. We have had an auto manufacturer basically make that change. So no one is gonna stay in your driveway. No bad guy is gonna stay in your driveway for two hours trying to reprogram your fob. But they'll stay for 12 minutes or six minutes, right? Now, several businesses in the GTA have also been identified as locations where these stolen vehicles were being stored. I can tell you that seven people have been arrested, 150 charges have been laid, and Melissa, police say six of those suspects are already out on bail. Back to you. I appreciate that update. Thanks for that, Shauna.